There we go. We're on we are. We're on the goo. We're on the goo. Continue the goo. All right, so our the phone died. Uh the last thing you saw was me fighting this guy. And that's what I'm still doing. <laughs> the fight goes on. So uh as you can see, uh you uh, quite mi you missed quite a bit. Come on, just 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 use your ultimate already, please. Waste it! Squander it! Squander your chance of survival! Squander it! He's too smart for you. Uh oh. There we go. How's that for squandering? Mm-hmm. -hmm. How's that for squandering? How's that for squander? Nice. Crap! Yeah. There we go. Now we're in the goo. Yep. Now we're in the goo. Yep. Now we're in the goo. All right, I've got my special ready. Let's not squander, shall we? Yeah! Just gonna get in and that for not squandering! Yeah! Yep. Come on now. No, oh, I wanted to hit that yeah. thing. There we go. He hit it for me. That's fine. Yeah, I'm getting Oh! That's it! That's Can't it! That's the end! Him. That's it! That's it! That's the end! We did the deal! We did it! Together! Together! As a team! Teamwork! You did some of it. I did some stuff. You did do some of it. Sometimes. If you mount all of your uh, first round wins, you would, uh... <laughs> yes! That creep is down for the count! Hold on, I've just received some intel. During a routine experiment in Arms Laboratory, there was an unexpected... What? <laughs> that light! It's everywhere! Is Max going to be okay? I sure hope so. Huh? Whoa! It's gone! What was that thing? Where'd it come from? And will it be back? I wonder. Think I'd look good in a mask? I've been kind of in a rut, uh, style-wise. Never mind that. How's the comic doing? Why was I even worried? Look at that. Uh, that's our comic. He's flexing like nothing happened. Stop talking so fast. God. <laughs> anyway, now that that's over, let's get back to our re regularly scheduled programming. We've done it. All right. Look alive, people! The award ceremony is about to begin! Look at all those brass heads. Let's t take a look at the final results! Wow, there they go. Now that's a score worth celebrating! Could a new arms legend be in our midst? Get ready to go crazy! Where did those numbers come from? <laughs> the winner of the arms Grand Prix and your new grand champion! The Clockwork Carps, Cops, Bank <laughs> Car, who graduated from Beach Patrol's Arms Champs. Congratulations. As another Arms Grand Prix draws to a close, I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks. Look at that belt. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. It's toothpaste head. Yeah, I don't really like that. And there, there's the credits. <laughs> oh, that one is proper cup of coffee. <laughs> maybe a proper cup of coffee, but I may be off my top, but I want a proper coffee and proper cup of pot. That's and two coffee pots, and three coffee pots, and they do do to me. If I can't get a proper coffee, there's not something about tea. Can't have a proper cup of coffee and a proper cup of pot. I'll have a cup of tea. How does he do that? Oh, look! Oh, I can look around. Look at that. The blimp. Wow. Where are we? Jeez, that's a big city. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wait, way up high. Yeah. We could have fell off. Now, is that for some scatting? You just read the names and scat. Ah, rookie Oh, easy now, there, everybody. That's no I can't even say it. Yamamoto. Now, Maki, Nyana Sagawiya, Kenji Yamamoto, Sumuki, God. Oh my god, so many, so many Ys. Ito. Do you know how many Ys there are in the Japanese? Uh, Ys? Jam, yeah. No, they, they use, yeah, they use the letter Y a lot. Yeah, no, is, it, is there ever a language where they use Z a lot? Mm, I don't know. Um, 
Maybe he's shacked. He's shacked with a Yeah. <laughs> Stock footage of uh, arm stuff happening. That's us, right there. Yep. Whoa. I thought that was all footage of him getting beat up mercilessly. <laughs> He's got a lot of fans. Yeah. Whoa. Make sure to check out Twitch! Twitch. And uh, my social media at uh, Instagram, Multimedia Masters 1. Multimedia Masters 1. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Multimedia Masters in the morning. Wow. So, Instagram is Multimedia Masters 1. Mm -hmm. Twitch is just Multimedia Masters. Yep. Yepers. Uh, Why? Trying to get the proper information out there to the peeps. Mm -hmm. The marshmallow peeps. That's it to you. There you go. You can see, yeah, when he's not trying to teach me how to play games, and he's probably a little better. Yeah. <laughs> and look, we get an end scene. They're thanking us for playing. We, you, you pup, during retirement, they, they, they were two days from retirement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. And there you go. That's it. Woo! You did it! You did it! We punched with the pub a thousand times! <laughs> a thousand times. You, you, you punched with a Seeky a thousand times. Wow, that's. Lots of pub. Look at all these badges I have. I told you guys, badges. We don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> back in, back in my first save file, I got every single badge in my game. Until they kept adding badges. <laughs> Yeah, there's a gallery. There's an art gallery. Uh, there's actually a lot of art in here that uh, unlocks like actual lore. Yeah. In this. Like. Okay. Well, I can't show all of it because <laughs> I have to complete it with every other person. Oh yeah. So you know, like, so there's all the end scenes for the ones that I've done. Okay. Min Min, she does ramen. That's her thing. Uh, Master Mummy uh, finds his family. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. That's a nice little family there. Yeah. Uh, she is it, who is that? Oh, no, that's the ninja guy. Uh huh. That's college. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ribbon Girl does uh songs. There's Spring Man. He, Spring Man. He's also there. And then all right, here's here's where the lore stuff comes in. Maybe. I gotta I gotta unlock them. The arms confidentials. Mm, confidentials. Arms Labs. Let's get all the get, get all that lore up in here. It's actually pretty interesting. Mm. I'm gonna use a lot of them, so <laughs> they better be. <laughs> Luckily, they're all quick reads, so. All right. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Arms without confidential one. The earliest material uh, materials we have re relating to, to the arms ability date back to uh, 1,500 years ago. However, some experts believe it has existed for at least 4,000 years. The hallmark coiling like a spring phenomenon can be found not only in people but in animals and plant life as well. And here's some pictures. Oh, really? Of ancient. <laughs> <This is> <laughs> 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 and there's the announcer guy. Just, hey! Yeah. I mean, they never really show the animal things, but it kind of, kind of looks weird. The yeah. animals. Okay. And there's this one. The, the number of people with arms abilities is rapidly increasing. Currently, 20% of the population is affected. Uh, considering that some of the, those affected may not uh, yet have reported to the arms league, it may even be higher than that. Uh, though once deemed an oddity in this day and age, the ability is considered a gift, and those with it are strongly admired. Let's see. So it's okay. <laughs> it's a naturally occurring uh, mutation of some sort, eh? Kind of reminds me like My Hero Academia. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Except for springy arms. Yeah. Some made out of noodles. 
The arms of, uh, of those with the arms ability transform into either something deeply connected to the inv individual, or something that was nearby at the time of their awakening. Or at least, uh, th this is the current theory. However, there are some known examples of causes that do not follow this pattern. An investigator is currently shadowing one of, the, one of these outliners. Report to follow. Which is this right here. Wow. Look at those pictures. Very confidential. Who do you think it's about? Fan of the opera? No. Uh, I previously say, stated the arms ability is, not, is nothing new, but arms as a sport only dates back to uh, about 120 years. One particular tribute of the ability's nature had previously prevented uh, competition, but that all changed thanks to the special masks in invented by the arms ministry, what we call arms labs today. So what they're talking about is they're talking about um, Twintel. Mm -hmm. She's got that mask on. That's mm -hmm. what makes her hair. The things. Oh. Got that... <laughs> So it's goofy. <laughs> oh, good he's a, song. He's a pugilist. The arms ability often emerges overnight with okay, <laughs> with those affected discovering their transformation upon waking up. Awakenings are most common during the teenage years, though in some individuals the ability has lain dormant for as many as 74 years. Some are even uh, born with the ability, though this is extremely rare. Here's, like mutants. Here's that guy, yep. Based on our current research, only one in 100,000 individuals is born with the arms ability uh, already manifest. In, in, the, in the currently, Kid Cobra is the only example of this. He never removes his mask, and he has never disclosed anything about his family. He presents an extremely rare and interesting uh, subject. Uh, inv investigation on him must be prioritized. So, he's a special case. Yes. Look at all look those special. readable notes. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the issue of arms unraveling and changing shape without regard to, the, to their subject's will was resolved by the in, uh, invention of special masks, which allowed for sparring via extendable arms. As a result, uh, form formalized competitions quickly gained momentum. In the present day, these masks are provided to those with the arms ability free of charge. Manufacture, ma manufactured by Arms Labs and distributed by the Arms League. So that's, that's kind of what this is showing. It's like, oh, my arms all gross. Like, oh, God, ew. I mean, that's really kind of, yeah. it's really disgusting. And he's like, oh, if I get the mask, it'll hit. Because, you know, science. And also, I don't know, why, why isn't his other arm? <laughs> like that. Because he can't control it. Because they have a mask. The irises of those with the arms ability take on a spiral shape. This led to the hypothesis that the ability could be controlled indirectly via the eyes, leading to the development of special masks in order to prevent their misuse. The underlying technology is a closely guarded secret, only disclosed at uh, the discretion of Dr. C. Or Dr. Coily. Remember the girl with the Coily? third arm that would pop out of her shoulder? Coily, okay. <laughs> you, you played as her for a second? Clearly. I don't know if he counts. <laughs> or her. She doesn't actually have it. She says a mech suit. The, the arms ministry named the, the new sport that was created around the unique extendable arms ability, simply arms. When the sport gained enough attention to s sustain a professional league, the ministry changed its name and split into two organizations, tournament organization and fighter development. Uh, would become the job of the Arms League. And f uh, f foundational research on the arms ability and the development of, of related products became the focus of Arms Lab. Mm. There he is in his rising star age. He had, he, he had the spring thing too! <laughs> Toothpaste hair. <laughs> What's up with his arm? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> hey, look, it's a, little, it's a tiny little guy. <laughs> it's a tiny little guy. Oh, yeah. uh, here's a picture of old guys. Oh, wow. Oh, God, look at him. Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> Who's that guy? He's the, he's the past Kamish. He's dead now. Kamish. There are no other known cases of the arm's ability appearing in hair. Subject, subject has refused the request for examination three times so far. We sent a few staff members to infiltrate and, and hopefully return with some straight hairs, but we've lost communication with all of them. Perhaps she doesn't even have the true arm's ability? But then how do you explain her eyes? So she's also a, spe a special case. Mm. I mean, they don't look that spiral. I mean, kind of, I guess. I guess. I guess. Spiral eyes, huh? The weapons used in arms, also called arms, 
were initially uh, basic boxing uh, type gloves in the early days of the sport. In the modern era, however, a wide range of different arms with unique char characteristics is available to competitors. The contributions of pr private corporations had a lot to do with this increased variety. Uh, but it's also well known that uh, without the technical support of arms labs, there would be nowhere near the variety of arms currently available. I always kind of wondered, like, how they changed arms. Because then, like, part of them, you'd have to, like, <laughs> well, they're, well, they're gloves, right? Kind of. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. No, there's no really no science behind any of this. <laughs> Recently, some fighters who do not possess the true arms ability have emerged in the in the professional ranks. Uh, Kogue. What? Colloquially? These competitors are referred to as the second generation. Mechanica and the test subject Helix are among them. Their rise has had a massive impact on the sport, inspiring even more interest from fans. What about his knee? <laughs> what? About, what? <laughs> is that his weak points? But. <laughs> Here. Great, great drawings. Her. Maybe that was her drawing when she was a, when she was a kid. So I guess when she was de developing it. E even among second generation fighters, Bite and Bark are unique. They showed up uh, to their pre Grand Prix uh, inspection in their combined form. Having passed that, we uh, we were unable to stop them from participating, even after the truth of their partnership was revealed. Maybe it may be time to. Revaluate how we conduct those inspections. That said, the comic is a big fan of theirs, so perhaps nothing will change. That's well. They did a, a legal thing <laughs> to, get, to get Bark up in there. Right. I, I think he should be like that all the time because he just looks cooler. <laughs> Doctor C refuses to fully reveal uh, themselves themselves to us, so we've uh, done some research in secret. Uh, they're a once-in-a-generation genius, the youngest in history to rise to the top of uh, arms labs. Unconfirmed rumors about such as p possessing, possessing 52 doctorates and lacking the ability to taste food. So, mm -hmm. let's get some more information here. I'm not sure what's going on here. Mm -hmm. That looks like the Helix guy. The aliens. There's the family of them. Mm, aliens. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it does look like alien stuff, huh? Neat. What, some alien crossbreeding? Is that, is that how this Maybe. came to be? Mm. Why isn't that, why is that covered up? What? Her, her mouth is covered up in that picture. Uh, hmm. by another picture. Yeah, I know, but what, what, what would that be? Uh, the show that's the same person? I don't know. The special mask used by arms fighters allow them to maintain their arms in a uh, coiled state. If the masks are removed, their arms become nearly impossible to control, coiling and uncoiling at random. If you discover you have the arms ability, please contact the Arms League Outreach Center by phone immediately. So how? <laughs> Isn't that the, he's like, <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> I can't stop punching my phone. <laughs> Project uh, Wearable Weapon, uh, intended for use as a sparring partner for fighters, has been initiated in essence we created the ultimate sandbag. Dr. C is the project lead. This is my first time working with them, so I'm quite excited. Uh, will the average fighter be able to control so many arms at once? This will be our initial, our initial challenge. So, of course, they're talking about the headlock. Yeah, what about the uh, So, at first, it, looked, it was supposed to be on your body. But then it uh, didn't work out too well. <laughs> No closer to, to overcoming our initial challenge. A method of forcibly boosting brain power has uh, was proposed, but Doctor C dismissed it. We've be uh, begun tests tests based on uh, their idea of expanding the thought capacities of the device. We've also modified the device from being worn on the torso to instead being placed atop the head. The doctor responds to our communications promptly, but refuses to appear before us. It's a bit unnerving. Hmm. Wow, that is really intimidating. <laughs> the, 
The pardon type has escaped. Uh, now able to think, Hidlock has disappeared and seems in search of something. This is an emergency. However, the doctor's interests have already moved elsewhere. We've been instructed to create a version that can be more easily equipped and unequipable. We'll leave the escaped headlock for the fighters to deal with. In the end, I suppose it will ha have become a sparring partner for them. Wow. Hmm. That is, that's great. Just kind of randomly does that on its own. Huh? There you go. That's uh, an escaped thing. There's some some lore action in there. There you go. The story behind the story. I'll buy all of these ones. I'm gonna buy all of these so we can uh, view the art of arms. I think that they might have added some since I last uh, unlocked them all. But, you know, who knows? <sighs> can I just mass buy them? Oh, <laughs> un unlock multiple. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. That's fine. Just get as many as I can. Get as many as I can. Look at you. There. This means I can get. There. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Pew. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Ow. He's not in a good spot. <laughs> He's loving it. It's all about Mr. Springy guy. Well, he's the main character. That's what he thinks. Hey, buddy. That's his awakening. I'm awake. Broke out of his thing. <laughs> Face. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good, good save. <laughs> These little gray guys are also a bad guys. Helix is a bad guy, by the way. Oh, he is? Oh. Yeah. What does he do? He's one, he's one of the villains. I mean, they're just people who box. Yeah, well, not. he's also part of the arms labs thing. So. He has a day job or something? Kind of. <laughs> it's like him, the Comish, and Dr. Coily, uh -huh. uh, and Springtron are all part of the same thing. They're all bad, bad, bad dealios. <laughs> the arms people who are making everything happen. He was the mask. <laughs> like he he likes the dog. <laughs> no. How does that work? He's a what? How does he? How does he like things? He's a robot. And they got personality. <laughs> okay. That's weird. <laughs> well, there's the gang. Oh yeah, there's, see, I'm telling there's headlock, all bad, bad people, oh god, run, run for the hill, nice, who do you think, who do you think wins? Mr. Mummy. None of them, because he's going to break the table. Oh, <laughs> probably true. <laughs> when, she, hers is made of hair, theirs is like actually made of muscle and stuff. Yeah, well, she won't reveal what her secrets are, so. Hmm. I guess oh, there are some. Uh. <laughs> Merchandise drink. Well, that is... Pizza party. It's a lot of cheese. Oh, they're gonna be sure they have a pizza arm guy. <laughs> cheese arms. It's like it's like the, the coronavirus at the beginning. Remember, the toilet paper. <laughs> remember when that was like a thing? Yeah, it seems like it seems like months ago. <laughs> I'm glad we've all figured out our toilet paper <laughs> issues. You, that that's their main use, just remote control. <laughs> yeah. 
And juggling. Yeah. Candy. Yeah. Really big candy. And pointing. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's like one, two, three. Uh, oh, the three most popular fighters. Uh, Jaden Misango. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Get those special arms. Her. We're kind of dangs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. He doesn't look very evil to me. I don't know. He's not good. Mm, he doesn't look very evil there either. Oh, he's on the okay. He's that, on the top that's, guy. Yeah, that's a lot of. There's, there's a lot of bad happening here, like uh. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> How's that for a use? <laughs> Oops. Some. Yeah. Rope. Nice. Guess you could use them for jump ropes too. <laughs> Why does he always look so upset about everything? <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Not there. A little bit there. Mm, well, that's the evil one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> well. Coily. Golden ones. I, I thought they should do. They should add more stuff. Christmas. Halloween. Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, it's a Hanukkah. Yeah, I know it's Hanukkah. Kind of like a dreidel. It's not really, but you know. Sort of dra dreidel esque. It's like a, probably the Chinese New Year. Oh yeah, you know maybe. But I think it might be. Arms up. It's Helix again. Oh, yeah. Oh it's, oh, it's showing off the badges. That's what they're doing. The badges. The badges. Thanks for joining Japan Expo in 2017. Merci. Boku. Oh, God! <laughs> well, actually, what? wait, hang on. <laughs> what? Did he stretch himself over the ent entire Eiffel Tower? Oh, color. God. See, I'm telling you, he's not good. <laughs> he's not a good guy. <laughs> What's he's also clearly in pain. Because he's red. Okay, is that what happens? Yeah, I guess. He could, he, he could probably just break it. Yikes. Thank you. There, well, there you go. There you have it. That's arms. I the got more things. Behind the story, behind the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. I just got enough money to do the thing. <laughs> to do a few more. <laughs> Not enough, though. They keep you coming back. Looking up. Now you have it. All right, that's it. I defeat baby dogs. I can't see how much time we have. Oh yeah, it's time to wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right, see you later. Thank you for joining us. Later. On this experience with the arms. An mm, arm experience. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>